M MOF 74 where M can be magnesium, iron, cobalt, nickel or manganese is an important metal organic framework that also goes under the name M2 DOBDC. This MOF has a, a wide variety of potential applications in separations for flue gas um, CO2 capture, for CO2 methane separations, for alkene alkane separations, for alkyne alkene separations. And the objective of uh, today's presentation is to highlight the anti synergy between adsorption and diffusion in MOF 74. Magnesium MOF 74 has one dimensional channels that are hexagonal in shape and have a size of 11 angstrom. The uh, unsaturated magnesium atoms are exposed and can bind with gas molecules such as CO2, with alkenes and alkynes. Magnesium MOF 74 has a potential applications for carbon capture and for alkene alkane separations and alkyne alkene separations. Let's have a look at the motion of hydrogen molecules within the channels. Hydrogen is poorly absorbed and uh, gets reflected on uh, striking the channel walls. Carbon dioxide absorbs strongly with one of the oxygen atoms binding with uh, the metal atoms and uh, the motion of CO2 is shown here where you will note that the higher concentration or near the walls and once a CO2 molecule detaches from the exposed metal atoms it experiences a trajectory that is akin to that of a boomerang before it returns to the metal site. The boomerang trajectory of CO2 has been experimentally verified by means of NMR data. The binding energies of gas molecules with the uh, unsaturated metal atoms of magnesium MOF 74 are quantified by the isosteric heat of absorption and uh, the hierarchy of binding energies is as follows. Hydrogen followed nitrogen, methane, ethane, propane, butane, carbon dioxide. And if we examine the MD data for the diffusivities of these gas molecules, they appear to correlate very nicely with the isosteric heat of absorption. Therefore, the stronger the binding, the lower is the diffusivity. Put very simply, sticky guests have lower mobilities. This animation shows the motion of uh, gas molecules CO2 and hydrogen shown by the white spheres along the 1D channels of uh, magnesium of 74. 
the more strongly adsorbed CO2 prevents um, uh, hydrogen from uh, traversing long distances along the 1D channel. The uh, slowing down of hydrogen due to the presence of more strongly adsorbed CO2 is uh, shown here in the MD data for the self diffusivities in a mixture of CO2 and hydrogen at a constant total loading and we note that with increased concentration of CO2 in the uh, absorbed phase, the hydrogen, the self-diffusivity decreases by a factor of two. This slowing down effect is very commonly observed in mixtures of uh, strongly absorbing components and weakly absorbing components within structures that are not strongly confined. This is a picture of uh, traffic moving in the busy streets of Pune in India. The uh, slow moving elephant lowers the mobility of this scooter. The M atoms of uh, M of 74, where M is either magnesium, iron, cobalt, nickel, or manganese, selectively bind with uh, alkynes such as ethyne and alkenes such as ethene and propene. This selective binding allows uh, selective absorption of alkenes from mixtures with alkanes and selective absorption of alkynes in mixtures with alkenes. Consider separations of propene and propane mixtures in uh, IronMoff 74. The animations of motion of molecules in uh, the one-dimensional channels, yellow is propene and green is propane, are shown here. Propene is um, more strongly adsorbed and has a slightly lower mobility than a propane. In the mixture, propene has the effect of slowing down propane. For a mixture of carbon dioxide and methane diffusing within the eight and a half angstrom 1D channels of mil 47, the uh, most strongly adsorbed CO2 reduces the mobility of uh, the more mobile partner because uh, CO2 does not vacate the adsorption sites quick enough for methane molecules to pass through the channels.